This is the MLX 90640 Thermal Image Array Temperature Sensor from Melexis. Using this sensor, you can build a thermal camera and detect an object on the basis of heat emitted by it. In one of the earlier videos, we built a DIY thermal camera using the AMG88338-8 Thermal Image Array Temperature Sensor. Since it was an 8 x 8 pixel array thermal camera, only 64 pixels could be used. This made the thermal camera resolution too low. However, the MLX 90640 sensor offers a higher resolution of 32 x 24 pixels, which translates to 768 individual thermal detectors. This higher resolution provides more detailed thermal images. Hence, we can build a higher resolution thermal camera now. In this video, we will build a DIY thermal camera using Raspberry Pi 4 and display the thermal image on a 7-inch LED display. There are some Python libraries available for the MLX 90640. We will use it to generate thermal images. Using some matplotlib, numpy and other Python libraries, we can interpolate the images to generate perfect thermal images. We will later test the working for this DIY thermal camera and compare the results with other thermal cameras. So let's get started and build it. The components required for this project are the MLX 90640 Thermal Image Array Temperature Sensor from Melex. Then a Raspberry Pi 4 board with 16 or 32 GB SD card. This is a 7 inch LED screen display from Sun Founder that can be used to display thermal images. We need a 5 volt 3 ampere power adapter. For my project, I am using a UPS power supply that is specially designed for Raspberry Pi. A mouse and keyboard are optional for this project in case you don't want to use the VNC viewer. Let's have an overview of the MLX 90640 sensor first. The MLX 90640 is an advanced infrared thermal camera module from Melexis, recognized as a sophisticated temperature monitoring tool. This sensor captures data in an array of 32 x 24, providing a resolution of 32 x 24 or 768 pixels. Each pixel functions as an independent IR sensor, delivering individual temperature readings. The MLX 90640 is equipped with a built-in lens that offers a field of view of either 55 degrees or 110 degrees, making it versatile for both close range and broader area detection. It operates at a voltage of 3.3 volt and features a variable frame rate from 0.5 Hz to 64 Hz. The frequency is adjustable depending on the application needs. The temperature resolution of the MLX 90640 is approximately 0.1 degree Celsius and it can measure temperatures from minus 40 degree Celsius to 300 degree Celsius. The sensor works on I2C protocol which means only 4 pins are used for interfacing with a microcontroller. There are some versions of MLX 90640 that supports the UART communication protocol as well. As you can see, I have two different versions of MLX 90640, but you can get it in so many different breakout forms such as from the Adafruit, SparkFone, Pimroni, MakerFabs, etc. All of them work the same. Things to note is that there are two versions of MLX 90640 that are marked as BAA and BAB. The BAA version has a narrower field of view of 55 degrees, whereas the BAB version has a wider field of view of 110 degrees. Choose the sensor version based on your requirements. This is the 7-inch LED screen display TS7 Pro from SunFounder. We will be using this display for visualizing the thermal images from MLX 90640. This is similar to SDMI display which can work with any Raspberry Pi board. 
For making the thermal camera portable, I am using this portable UPS power supply specially designed for Raspberry Pi 4. Alright, let's assemble this display and UPS power with Raspberry Pi 4 now. First, connect the UPS power supply unit to the board. All you need is some screws and a standing terminal and some connector header. The USB cable needs to be plugged in to power it. Then, let's connect the display now. The Raspberry Pi 4 fits perfectly at the back of the top of these pins. Using some connectors and adapters, the connection between Raspberry Pi and display is established. Regarding the MLX90640 part, the connection is simple. Simply connect the VCC, GND, SDA and SCL pins of the MLX90640 to the corresponding VCC, GND, SDA and SCL pins of the Raspberry Pi. You can slide this power button to power on this device. Here you go the display, the Raspberry Pi and the entire device are powered now. The SD card has a Raspbian operating system installed here. I have connected my Raspberry Pi to the VNC viewer via SSH terminal. First, we need to enable I2C communication for detecting the MLX90640. Then go to the terminal and update the Raspbian OS. Run the upgrade command. Install the matplotlib python library. Then install skypy. We need to install the numpy as well. Using this command, install the sumbus library. Go to the config.txt file and turn on the i2c bus. And then set the i2c sampling rate to 400 kbps. You can set it to 1 Mbps if your Raspberry Pi is capable enough to handle it. Reboot your system. Now finally, your system is ready. Now, run this I2C detection command. Here you can see the MLX90640 I2C address of 0 cross 33. In order to find out how to interface the MLX90640 with Raspberry Pi and do the temperature calculations, I went through the data sheets of the sensor from Melexis. Look at these mathematical equations and a large number of calculations. Of course, you need to have a PhD degree in physics or mathematics to understand all these mathematical equations. Fortunately, there is a library developed by Adafruit which does all these calculations and simplifies our work. To install this library, go to the terminal again and install the Adafruit Blinka library. Then finally, install the Adafruit CircuitPython library. That's all the installation we need. Let's move to the programming part now. This is the basic code for testing your MLX90640 sensor. This Python script sets up an I2C connection to continuously read and display the average temperature from an MLX90640 thermal camera sensor at a 2 Hz refresh rate. Run this code and you will see the terminal displaying the temperature values. I guess the temperature displayed here is the room temperature. You may place hot object near the sensor to read the temperature values up to 300 degrees. In order to display the thermal images using matplotlib and numpy, I found this GitHub repository from Makerspot. Here, they provided the Python code for the visualization of thermal points. I modified the code and made some changes to it to fit my requirements. The refresh rate for MLX90640 is a maximum of 64Hz, but here I just set it to 4Hz as my Raspberry Pi isn't too powerful to handle a high refresh rate. You may change this to 8Hz or 16Hz depending upon the capacity of your Raspberry Pi. Run this code now. Here, you see the visualization of thermal image. You can place yourself in front of the thermal sensor or move your hand. This will show you the processed images like a pixelated view. 
The Raspberry Pi is plotting 4 images per second due to a refresh rate of 4 Hz. The pixelated images show how the thermal camera works, but it's still not good enough as a visualized image. Hence, we need to remove the noise and make the image smoother. This can be done using the interpolation. Interpolation in Python is a technique used to estimate unknown data points between two known data points. Here is the another code where we have implemented the interpolation. This Python script uses MLX90640 thermal camera sensor to capture and continuously update a live thermal image display. Run this code. And here we see that thermal video streaming works perfectly. It looks too good now and has a better result compared to the previous code. The pixelated view is removed now and the image appears appealing. This is the advantage of interpolation. Bring some hot objects or just introduce yourself in front of the camera. The displayed live video shows the heat map where red is for high temperatures and blue is for cold ones. Since our device is portable, I can take this outside for thermal visualization and detecting the heat or cold. It can not only see in the light but also in the darkness as it is independent of natural light. This is how you can build your high resolution thermal camera using the MLX90640 sensor and Raspberry Pi. Alright, that's all from the video part today. The complete project details including device information, purchase link, source code and the written guide can be followed in the How to Electronics website article. In case you have any other questions, you can comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.